Hi, I'm Brian Dyke. I'm joined by Alan Sawyer, and welcome to our coverage of the 2021 Eastern Amateur Golf Tournament, hosted by Elizabeth Manor Golf and Country Club. The tournament has been here since 1957, and today's second day of action, well, tropical storm conditions were moving away, kind of. <laughs> uh, we were able to get the second round in, and they were able to establish the cut. Our word right now just came to us minutes before. The cut is at six over. So everybody's six over. That's exactly 60 players will have the opportunity to compete for one of the most iconic amateur golf titles on the East Coast. So, Alan, we got there today, and our main focus was let's, let's look at Rob Kinder. Rob Kinder fired 65 yesterday at Christopher yep. Newport University, yep. captain, located in New Kent County. So we got to speak to him earlier to see how he had any plans of following up that 65, and here's what he had to say. Rob, tell us a little bit about the course yesterday and, and how you felt it was training. I know you got the good end of the draw with the weather yeah. playing a factor. You want to just comment on the weather for a yeah. minute? No, I definitely got the good end of the draw. You know, all the rain hit about 12, and – and uh, we were on ninth tee about 12, so I only had to play like one hole in the rain. Um, but yeah, I definitely got the good end in the draw. It looks like looks like we're gonna have a good day for it here today. It is beautiful out here today. Hopefully, it stays the same for you. A little bit of wind, but don't yeah. anticipate to blow up too much. If I asked what what a goal for today or a number, would that be in your thinking? What do you, what are you looking to achieve out there to follow up on your your first round best 65? Yeah, you know, it's only the second day out of four, so I'm not, not too focused on a certain number. I'm just trying to get, get every round under par and, and see where that leads me. Good plan. Anything under par I think is going to be a good score to add with that amazing round you had yesterday. Again, congratulations on yesterday's round, and now we got to put that one to bed, forget about it, and best of luck on today's round. And it was great hearing from the Division Three runner-up for the National Championship, Rob Kinda there, and Alan. The time told that if he was able to execute his plan and stay atop the leaderboard as he was tied teeing off this morning with Jeffrey Cunningham this afternoon, excuse me. And yes, it's a resounding yes, he was able to he stick was. to that plan. And let's take a few highlights now and watch how Rob Kinder was able to grab sole possession of first place by his birdie on 18, his finishing hole. I'm lucky enough to be joined by the second Christopher Newport University captain in the field, Alex Price. Well, I guess yesterday, Alex, I could say the price was definitely right yeah. as you carded a three under and found yourself knotted in a four-way tie for fourth. You just completed your round today. Can I get a number from you for today's round? 71 today. Okay. Over. Tell me a little bit about today's round. Uh, how did the course play differently? How were the greens? Uh, well, the greens were perfect, and I mean, I didn't have to play in the downpour that I played in yesterday, so it was a little uh, more enjoyable today. So we have two local Christopher Newport University captains located in the top 10, including obviously the leader with Kinder, and then Price sitting there right in the top 10, right in the hunt of things. So we'll see what the captains were able to do going forward. And we mentioned that earlier that Kinder was atop the leaderboard after yesterday with a 65. Also shooting 65 yesterday in the first round was Jeffrey Cunningham. Right out of Drexel University. Right down from Philly and Drexel University. The Dragon came down and was able to shoot the 5 under yesterday and followed that up with a really clean 1 under 69 here today at Elizabeth Manor. And fortunately, we were able to speak with him after his round today. Joined by one of the current leaders after the second round, Jeffrey Cunningham from Drexel University, West Palm Beach native, one under 71 today. Jeffrey, tell us a little bit about, about your round today and your thoughts. Yeah, I mean, you come out here after you know, taking it a little bit deep in uh, some tough conditions, so it's all about taking it one shot at a time. You know, you, you know you're not going to have the exact round as yesterday, so I was just really trying to stay in the present and, you know, stay relevant coming into the weekend. And you mentioned yesterday's round, Jeffrey, where you fired a, a day's best opening round, 65 five under. Biggest difference today besides the weather, pin placements? Yeah, the pin placements were pretty grueling today. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's just a whole different golf course to start to dry up. So you're hitting the ball a little bit further, getting into some places that you weren't 
even getting into close yesterday. So you just had to be very attentive on uh, the shots that you're hitting. And uh, I thought I did a pretty good job of that. Could have been a little bit more precise in some places around the course, but I have no complaints. Alan, we were fortunate enough to be able to speak and follow around with the leaders a little bit. While we're doing that, would you look at the remaining filling out the top five for the Eastern Amateur after the second round? Sure thing, Brian. We have uh, Charlie Hansen out of Virginia Tech, also tied second. Alex Hefner from Davidson College, also tied second. Evan Beck, tied fifth, out of Virginia Beach. And Trenton Johnson from University of Tennessee, tied fifth as well. Okay, we got some big names there. Got some big schools there as well. Evan Beck, no stranger to golf in this area or anywhere for that matter. The former All-American at Wake Forest University, you know, is not a uncommon name in the Elizabeth Manor leaderboard. So Evan Beck, maybe somebody local to keep an eye on about of Virginia Beach. Well, on behalf of Alan Sawyer and myself, Brian Dyke, vote everybody a good evening. Can't wait to wake up with the eagles and birdies of the morning. Get out back out here for the third round of the Eastern Amateur Golf Tournament located here at Elizabeth Manor Golf and Country Club. Good night, everybody. Fairways and greens.